Tikio Swan Angel here bringing to you a new video and as you can see this drawing this artwork of mine was completely sketched in Photoshop something I have never really done before even with my parent dancer for Christmas I did an initial sketch in my sketchbook and then drew it over in Photoshop this one it's where everything I did everything was on Photoshop it was weird and freeing in a way that I don't really have to be mindful of rub off you know when you had the pencil mark and you, and you have to erase it you still have a faint thing in the page because I have a heavy hand I can't help myself I draw hard I can't help it so it was really kind of free and I kind of got to play around with a bunch of ideas like here how I'm drawing her do this kind of hairstyle it's not her final hairstyle but it was fun to try it out and not worry about all the pencils marks that may be left behind and I'm so sorry guys that it took me so long to finish it it's just I had so much ideas but I didn't have the technical skills to complete what I have in my mind and this is not fully what I had the vision I had in my mind so I may tweak her in the future but I am actually quite happy with how she looks here yeah. because I'm an artist who likes the shadows with sharp sharp shadows there's no blending or anything just sharp and love how it looks when artists do this but yet when I try to do it it bothers me every time I try to do a sharp shadow and say okay that's it it bothers me so I always have to blend it out that's what took me so long with this artwork and I'm not really going to talk long you're going to just hear music for the rest but I just need to tell you that this is what took so long with this artwork I had to blend everything and it was bothering me that I had to blend everything <laughs> so it was just a struggle and I had a fun I tried a new skin color palette I even had some purple so instead of just browns and you see you, you, you guys see you guys just see
The idea behind this illustration is that she's a star catcher and she can only see the stars with her third eye on her forehead. That's why her other two eyes are closed. So in order for her power as a star catcher to work, she has to open up the third eye, which is not always visible. You get it just right, because I was inspired by GDB and another image I found on Pinterest. I'll post them, I'll, you know, put them up on the screen somewhere for you to see. And that was my inspiration. And you'll see the results at the end of the video. <laughs> So bye. Here I am coloring the hair and I must say I know I wanted a galaxy effect in her hair and her braids but I had no idea how to really execute it so you see me adding different colors to kind of get a galaxy look but I just went to the night sky instead it's just the black hair with stars I found this really cool star brush and it was a lifesaver and I really liked how it came out it was so cool coloring the eye and this is not the final eye I was even though this is just how I normally color eyes and I was like eh, this will be fine but I wasn't having it I was not feeling it I should say so later on you'll see what I did with the eye different draw a star to save my life so I had to trace one out and fall on Google. <laughs> I love what I did. I've looked at a lot of tutorials on how to make things glow and I was really happy with how my stars came out. They were just a star and I just copied it but you guys know what I mean. Right? See, like, blending is getting to me. I just have to blend everything. <sighs>
so here is the final piece of my star catcher thanks so much guys for your patience and how long it took me to complete her i'm really really happy with how she came out especially love that eye and thanks so much for watching lovelies bye